Merge requests are the primary method of making changes to files in GitLab projects. So here I have my project. When I click on Merge Request, I can see different contributions that have been opened and need to be added to the project. Let's click on this first one, Update Area Finder. When we open this, we'll find the Merge Request view. Under Changes, I can see the different changes that have been added to the code. Let's expand this to show more lines and review this code. Here I can see we don't really need this print statement within the function. So I can start a review of this merge request by asking the person who submitted or who created this commit to remove this print statement from the code. Once I add my comments to this contribution, I can click on Start a Review and Submit It. This will start a workflow in which the person who sent this contribution to the code base will need to solve the different comments or suggestions to the code in order to be able to merge the final result to the code base. Additionally, I can add different reviewers to this merge request. Here, when I click on Reviewers, GitLab will suggest two different people. In this case, one is the person that has merge rights and the other is Parker. In this specific scenario, in order to be able to merge, there is a rule called coverage check, and we need the approval and the review of this person in order to merge the changes to the code base. As we can see here, this merge request is telling us that it requires approval from coverage check. This is a rule that we have configured that whenever there is a change in the code quality, we need approval from a specific person. So we also assign him as a reviewer, and then when we have finished the merge request review and we get the approval from coverage check, we can commit the final result and merge the changes into the code base.